Oh boy, the daffodils are up. I think these on my hill might be my favorites. These have a little orange cup in the center. Let's go a little closer. Aren't they beautiful? So cheerful. It, and it really helps you hang on until spring when you can get out here and spend even more time in the garden. I'm just thrilled. And yesterday was unseasonably hot, about 80 degrees, and that's, that's unheard of in February in here in Maryland. But a lot of the daffodils decided it would be a good day to open up. And guys, I mulched my path. I don't know if you can see it well from down here, but I went ahead and mulched it this year. I thought it might be a little bit easier to walk on in sandals mm -hmm. than all of my miscanthus grass. But I'm really pleased with how that's looking. It's a lot neater. My friend Lori gave me a few things for the garden and this little angel lantern was one of them with the hook. So I've just put it here at the corner of my steps and my sedum are starting to come up underneath. So I may have to find another spot for it as those grow taller, but isn't that sweet, guys? Let's go up here. I want to show you something else that's new. By the way, aren't these beautiful? These are an all yellow daffodil. So over the years, every year I'll go and buy daffodils and put them in. And sometimes they look like the package and sometimes they don't. But let me show you what I've done over here. I've made a little mushroom garden. Here's another one of the all yellow daffodils. So I'm thrilled about that. And that, of course, will make a bigger clump in the next couple of years. But look, guys, I've made a little mushroom garden. One of them I purchased. At, I think it was TJ Maxx. That's the mosaic one. The one in the back I made out of a bowl and a vase from a thrift shop. Isn't that cute? I just used some E6000. I was gonna paint it, but I think I like it just as a glass garden ornament. Here's some daffodils, which uh, I've forgotten what type they are, but they're coming up and they'll probably be a mid-season bloomer. And this one is just a Wilton Armatel metal bowl turned upside down on top of an old birdbath pedestal. The top of that birdbath broke. And because I save everything, I figured I'd have a use for it at some point. And now I've turned it into a mushroom. Got lots of pots of soil back here behind the polytunnel, ready for some of my flower planting. I'm preparing for spring. These miniature daffodils all came up and decided to open up yesterday on our warm day. Aren't they pretty guys? They're also an all yellow variety, but they have the small cup. And actually their petals look a little bit chartreuse. They almost look green, green and yellow. So I'm loving that combination. Try to get a little closer for you. Well, this is interesting. It looked like one collard green survived over the winter. So wouldn't it be wonderful if that sends out some side shoots? Maybe I'll try to propagate them. Here's some more sedum in this pot coming up. As you can see, the first terracotta pot just disintegrated. So I just slipped it down into another terracotta pot and I think it looks kind of rustic. I don't think I'll even do any type of transplanting. I don't want to disrupt the roots of that beautiful sedum. It looks like some of the variegated sedum is coming back as well. And my little cutting from my fig tree has leaf buds on it. So it looks like maybe it might have taken root. Here's another bit of sedum. The sedum come up at the same time as the daffodils. So I'll have to trim out the old foliage there, but isn't that nice, guys? Fresh spring green, right here next to some more daffodils. 
so it is just really feeling springy around here. Here's some columbine sprouting up, either from old plants or from seeds that fell. And I've got a great batch of sedum coming up in this pot. That's going to be gorgeous. I hung up a birdhouse gourd that my friend Lori gave me. I painted it and put a little flower around the hole. It had been chewed out a little bit by a larger bird. But I did a little renovation on it and hung it up. And although it does blow a lot, I'm hoping some bird families will be raised in there. So I'm excited to show you that. Here's a few more gorgeous all yellow daffodils. These are actually always the first ones to come up in my garden. Let me back up so I can show you where they are. They're in the triangle garden here, right in front of the hydrangea, which I hope will bloom this year. Last year we got a late frost and it really took out all the, the flower buds, but hopefully this year we'll get some hydrangeas later in the summer, but aren't those gorgeous guys? And it looks like my forsythia is about to burst open and be full of yellow flowers. So stay tuned for that. And I came out here the other day and realized a happy mistake might have happened. I think that this topiary I made earlier this winter is a golden dream boxwood. And I think it's by accident. It was labeled as a green mountain, but it has these variegated gold edges. So I think I might have ended up by accident with a golden dream boxwood topiary. And of course I did look it up on the internet. And some people say that this goes away with age. The variegation disappears. So I hope you'll stay tuned in a few years to see if this is true or not. But I'm sure hoping it doesn't. It, sh it makes it look very interesting. So thanks so much for watching my daffodil and sedum tour. I think the only ones more excited about spring are my little bird friends. They're all abuzz and very busy. I'll see you next time.